Hello everyone. Well, today what I wanted to do is uh, just a quick uh, video on FreeCAD and the um, add-on manager and in uh, particular on uh, fasteners. So we'll open our FreeCAD here and uh, we'll create new. And then we go up here and you can see the different uh, choices you have. And I wanted one that had uh, fasteners. So I need to come into here to tools in the add-on manager and then I'm going to search and you can see other things that I've added here and you can look these over too and see if the uh, you will gradually add things as you get uh, more and more experience with FreeCAD so I'm going to click on fasteners and I'm going to install and then it needs to restart it says restart requires, so just close it and it will tell you that it takes effect when it reboots up. So now I can come up here and go to um, fasteners and click on that and it should populate this toolbar here. I'm going to create new. Okay, so you can see the different uh, uh, choices you have here, and it'll give you the different uh, ISO numbers. Now, where that'll be important is, uh, say you're going to do an assembly, as you get more and more experience, we're going to make one here and uh, export it out as an STL file for 3D printing. But as you do assemblies and stuff, and you want to know how it's going to fit, um, you can actually put these nuts and bolts in there so you have a complete picture of what your, your finished product is going to look like. So let's just take one of these um, hex bolts. We'll click on that and it uh, come up with an M6, M6 by 30. So we'll click on that and then um, it brings up this and we can uh, click on, uh, we didn't say we didn't want an M6. We can uh, click on that and then bring that down and say we wanted a, an M10. So we can uh, make that M10 screw and then we can just uh, change this up here to an M10 screw. And the length is 35, which would be a standard for that. And then it says threaded, false. You're just gonna click on that and bring that to true. And then up here, you can refresh this, and as you do, it shows you um, the threads. It's really that uh, that simple. This is a very nice feature that FreeCAD has come up with. So now we want to export this out um, for our 3D printer. We're just going to come here, export. It shows uh, Cura there, and then um, I could just have... M10 screw, and I'm saving it as STL mesh, but if you look here, all the different choices that you have um, from IGES files to uh, STEP files to STL, um, so a lot of different choices if, for your engineering. We're going to save that, and then that is ready for, uh, for Curia for your 3D printing. Now I can come here and do um, a new file here, and I can do my my nut for that. So I'll come over and pick that from my nut, click on that, and then I can uh, set this to a M10 to match that, how that matches that. And we'll have for threading, click true. So that's what it should look there. Then come up here and refresh that. And you can see now we have a matching uh, nut and bolt. And we can export that same way. Export it. And we're going to have this be the uh, nut. M10 nut.
and save that. And that's really all there is uh, to that for, for bringing something in on that add-on manager. And you'll want to, uh, several of them you're definitely going to want, uh, like, like for your assembly, um, you're going to want this uh, assembly or this A2 Plus installed on there that allows you to assemble your, your parts. And um, I hope to make some more tutorials on that. But if not, uh, I know there's a lot of good ones out there too. So, so that's really all I had for today. Um, thank you for watching.